The following trailer is rated H for honest. <laughs> From yet another developer consumed by the unstoppable juggernaut that is Electronic Arts comes the series reboot that's expertly designed to separate nostalgic nerds from their hard-earned cash. Star Wars Battlefront. Get ready for the most detailed rendering of the Star Wars universe ever in a video game and immerse yourself in the set pieces, score, and sound effects of the original trilogy as you start to feel like you're actually taking part in classic Star Wars battles until that illusion is shattered as you blow up Luke Skywalker with a rocket launcher. Suck it, Cannon! Lower your expectations for the series reboot that took all the stuff you loved about the original games, like space battles, different classes, galactic conquest, and an actual single-player campaign, and threw all that shit out the window to make a Battlefield game with a Star Wars skit on it. But who cares? You get to be a stormtrooper! Yeah! Join the iconic battles of the Star Wars films as a grunt in the ranks of the Empire or the Rebel Alliance and get the true experience of being an extra in the Star Wars movies as you constantly run into rooms only to get shot immediately. Then jump into one of the six heroes and don the robes of Jedi Masters Luke and Vader, whose lightsaber fights feel like banging two action figures together. Jet around as awesome bounty hunter Boba Fett. Shoot things harder as Han or Leia, and give people the shocker as creepy old man Emperor Palpatine. Ugh, the way he moves is just so unsettling. Wait, did he just do a Psycho Crusher? <laughs> Prepare yourself to be disappointed by the lack of single player, as Battlefront gives you just enough unique gameplay to imagine how amazing a next-gen Star Wars campaign would be, before dumping you into a series of shitty bot matches with tacked on objectives. We're never getting another Jedi Knight game, are we? Head online for the real Battlefront experience and choose from nine different modes, four of which are actually any good. Then dive into battle in one of a handful of maps where you'll battle for control of objectives, get shot in the back constantly, spawn into enemy laser fire, and grab power-ups that turn you into a TIE fighter until you blow up 12 seconds later. And that's if you can get past the garbage people camping the spawns. That was my X-Wing, you asshole! Customize your loadout with Battlefront's hand system, with a wide variety of movie-accurate laser guns that all feel pretty much the same. And activate your trap card as you use special abilities to get the edge on your foes. Then rage as you figure out that all of the cool stuff is locked behind the slow-ass progression system. Until you realize that without it, this game would have about three hours of content. But hey, at least you get a bunch of emotes, right? Pounded, my Celestin brother. So feed your Star Wars nostalgia for as long as you can before you return the game to your local red box. Or if you f***ed up and bought this thing, get ready to pull out your wallets once more. Because with EA, it's not in the game. It's in several subsequent DLCs. Starring Daddy Issues, Darth Mufasa, Latest Disney Princess, Boba T, Space Indy, Bad Touch, and a pile of dead stormtroopers. Spaceballs 2 and the search for more money. Have you noticed all the heroes pull a Tim Tebow when they die? What's that about? Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Game Trailers and tell me what you'd like to hear me say in my awesome voice. Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. You can suck my Inception horn sound effect. It's quiet to quiet. Respect my authority.